I'm Chris Matthew, N7ICE, and you're watching Ham Brief TV, episode 45. Well, first off, we need to wish a happy birthday to Hiram Percy Maximum, who is the co-founder of ARRL and uh, its first president. September 2nd, uh, he would have been 140 years old. Uh, his birthday was 1869 is when he was born. And uh, he contributed a ton to ham radio. And he was also very fond of saying 73s. So happy birthday, Hiram. There's a big uh, contest going on with ARRL and certain uh, candidates can add 140 at the end of their call sign. So you'll have to go to ARRL.org to see if you can qualify for uh, promoting Hiram's 140th uh, birthday. This Saturday, today, uh, between noon and 2.30 uh, p.m. Uh, in Byron, California, Mark, AF6IM, is going to make the first ever, first ever parachute jump with D-Star contacts. So he'll be uh, broadcasting out of the K6MDD repeater, D-Star uh, two meter repeater band. And he's gonna make his first call out to uh, the repeater owner <clears throat> just to thank him for uh, the D-Star service. And uh, it'll be a free fall starting at 13 to 14,000 feet. And I think he's going to deploy a chute right around uh, 3,000 feet and see how many QSOs he can get done before he touches his ground. So, Mark, happy landing. Safe landing. We're with you all the way. We're very excited about this D-Star first. Hey, well, you know, if you follow me on Twitter, you probably saw me tweet a, an interesting project box uh, here this week. It's, the, uh, it's an RF multi-tester. Uh, function test set and it's kind of built out of a little aluminum or a little uh, like Altoid type box and listen to all what it has in it. It's a frequency counter, crystal oscillator, wideband noise generator, audio oscillator, 50 ohm dummy load, RF probe, and a time domain reflectometer. I don't even know what all that stuff does but when you look at the uh, photos it's pretty cool. Um, it was designed by Wayne uh, McPhee N86 no NB6M so that's a really cool box there's a uh, the link is uh, here behind me and uh, you you can go to his site and learn more about uh, how to build the box or you can buy one already built from him for around $55 US very cool I love projects like this well I have another product to review for you guys it's an, an antenna this time. It's a Diamond RH3. I don't know if you've seen this little guy. If you're just browsing the shelves at the uh, your favorite ham radio store, you'll browse right by it because it's little tiny. It's a little tiny stub antenna. And uh, the interesting thing is it's a tri-band. It's 2 meters, 440, 70 centimeters, and 1.2 gigahertz uh, antenna. And um, I can only imagine what the inside of this thing looks like because it's only this tall. It's about an inch tall. I have it on my Yezu. Um, I have it on my Yezu uh, VX8R and um, <laughs> you look at my satellite antenna. My satellite antenna is bigger than my tri-band uh, uh, antenna that goes with it. So. Um, it's very cool. You know, if, if you are trying to do anything long range, this isn't the antenna. But if you're looking for, but if you're in an area that's got great coverage to begin with, um, I can say that the 70 centimeter seems to be a lot more responsive than the two meter. Um, but what I love about this, this uh, it's not, it's not, if you're not, it's not a whole lot of gain. So this is what, uh, you know, all, all your, your advice from your Elmers, or Elmers will tell you. Uh, kind of taller antennas, half wave, etc. You're going to get more gain. This one's not a gain antenna. This is more of a convenience antenna. But I tell you, it's really convenient. I mean, you can put your whole radio kind of in your pocket and go. Um, it is a, uh, a BNC type of an antenna. 
So what I did is I bought this little um, this little adapter device that goes. So here's here's the antenna itself, B and C, and then I bought this little tiny uh, SMA adapter. So the B and C can go on like that, and uh, it still allows you to screw the uh, the antenna all the way down on on the um, the radio. And what's cool about this adapter? This adapter is that um, it kind of spreads the weight of the antenna, not like this one's got much weight, but across the whole base of the, um, the radio. So uh, I think this is a good idea even if you have a taller antenna, this little adapter. Um, but I can tell you this, uh, this little radio, uh, this little um, antenna, Diamond RH3 Tri-Band is, is quite amazing. So, you know, it, it doesn't have the gain, so I'm not going to give it five icicles. And, you know, two meter doesn't work all that, that great. You know, if, if you're in a good area, it does. Um, but what I found is 70 centimeter works really good. And I don't have a 1.2 gigahertz HT, so I don't know where you'd find one. But I, I do have the ID1 in the truck. Um, I don't know, maybe there's some opportunities in the future to try something interesting with that. So, <laughs> there's my APRS. So I think I would give this um, probably three icicles. Eh, probably three icicles. It it is cool enough to play, uh, but not if you're really depending on on game to get out. So um, very interesting uh, little antenna. Nonetheless, you know, put it in your pocket and it's easy to go. Really convenient. Let's see if there's anyone out there. I don't know. This is N7 ICE testing a new antenna. Does anyone copy? Thank you so much for the contact. It's a Diamond RH3. It's like about an inch long tri-band antenna. So I was real curious how it works. I'm inside of my home on this little tiny one inch tall antenna on an HT. So uh, thank you so much. Very cool. Thank you much, N7ICE, clear. Well, I think I'm gonna change my mind. I think I'm gonna give this one four icicles. Thanks so much for tuning in to Ham Brief. I hope that you enjoy your day. It's Labor Day weekend, so hopefully you've got three days ahead of you for lots of ham radio fun. So until next week, 73s.